How do you know when to pick corn? Well, we've got 76 day corn here. We have 81 day corn here. We have 84 day corn. But I, what I have found is that when we water properly and give them the proper nutrients and the right temperature, we're able to harvest much sooner. The question is, how do you know when to pick the corn? Here you can see a young ear of corn. It's slender. There's not a lot of girth to it. And it has very green silk. Each one of these pieces of silk goes down to a kernel of corn. Each one of these pieces of silk needs to be pollinated in order for that kernel to grow. This corn is not ready to pick. The next step is when the silk has been pollinated, you can see it will start turning a pink color. That's what you're looking for, for every piece of one of these silks to be pink. But it's still soft and moist. We still have some green here. The corn is still very narrow. Again, this is very young corn plants here. So this is not ready to harvest either. Here's another example of corn that's been pollinated but is still too young to be harvested. Right next to it, that corn that was planted three weeks earlier, you can see that the uh, silk is dry, it's no longer pink, and there's no moisture in it. That's a good indication that this ear of corn has been pollinated and may be ready to harvest. Just fill the stalk, it should be full, the end should be rounded, there should be no moisture in this. If you're not sure, then take a peek. All you want to do is to pull back a little bit and take a look at the kernels. I've peeled back the husk and you can see the corn here. It doesn't have a nice deep yellow color. It's still kind of pale. The next thing you want to do, if you're not sure, is just take something sharp or your thumbnail and pierce one of the kernels. If you have a clear substance come out, then that is an indication that that is not ready. Notice that there's no creamy milk coming out, but this is all clear. This ear is not ready for harvest. You can simply put a clothespin on there and that will help seal up the end to keep the ear wigs and the worms out. Here's an ear of corn that looks like it's possibly ready to be harvested. You notice that all of the silk has come off of it, which means it's completely dried off and fallen off. We have a nice thick looking corn cob here. So let's just peel this back and see what it looks like. This variety is called Honey and Pearl. It is a white corn with some yellow in it. It looks good. The kernels look nice and full. Let's take the knife and see if we can puncture it and get some juice out. Yes, we got some good color. You can see that that juice is creamy white. This corn is ready to harvest. Here I've harvested 40 honey and pearl variety of corn. They're just absolutely beautiful. I'm now going to go harvest some serendipity. One thing I'm doing as I'm harvesting the corn is I'm also feeling the top of the head. If the top of the head feels pointy, it's not going to be ripe. If it feels rounded, it will be ripe. Let me give you an example. Here you can see where the top of the head is nice and round and I can feel that when I harvest it. Compare that with this corn here where the top is pointy. I could feel that when I felt through the husks and you can see all of this is not ripe. This down here is, so I will actually lose this much of the corn in productivity because I picked it too soon. Feel for the rounded head or just take a peek underneath the husk. Also as I'm feeling the tip of the corn, I rub my hand up the corn and I can feel where it goes from nice plump kernels to very small kernels, so I know this one is not ready. Even though the silk is all brown, it needs a few more days before it can be completely filled out. You can feel the ridge right there where the kernels get small. Both of these ears feel rounded, and so I'll just check right now to see if they are ripe. And indeed, they both are. These are great looking cobs of corn. The difference I'm seeing between the serendipity and the honey and pearl is that the serendipity has much more color and is thicker. The kernels are about the same size. This has a little bit neater rows, but this really looks appetizing to me. We'll have to do a taste test next. Well, the honey and pearl is very tasty. 
not starchy, very sweet, uh, juicy, great flavor. I really like that. Serendipity is also awesome. It was a mouthful of meaty corn. I'd have to say just with this very quick unscientific taste test, I like the serendipity better. I like the way it looks and I like the way it tastes. I think I'll finish both these off right now. Some of the reasons why I like growing multiple varieties of the same crop here, for example, I have two different varieties of corn. I've actually planted three different varieties is so I can test the productivity, the health, how fast it grows, how disease and insect resistant it is. I just like planting different varieties of the same crop. Give that a try and you'll find the produce that your family loves.